Hello friends today i would like to explore more about excel sheets how to find duplicate records uh, for example i have two sheets one excel workbook with the two sheets one is the students data and another the score, student scores okay so in the first students data i have the student id numbers their name and their mobile number okay and in the second sheet i have their id numbers and am their scores in maths subject okay so now the task for this uh, tutorial is first thing is we need to find the duplicate records in this in the students uh, scores secondly we need to count how many times the records are duplicated third how we will remove the duplicate records okay so let's go one by one first from the scores record Uh, there are so many duplicate records so first we will see how uh, what are the ways we can find duplicate records okay so now in this sheet there are some numbers are uh, is like repeated for example 20115 is here and also here so the easiest option for you to find the duplicate record is like now for example you select this column and go in the home there is something called conditional formatting if you go here there is something called duplicate values so when you click this one you see it automatically highlights the duplicate values for example now 20115 and the moment you change it it will immediately it will go away so so this is one of the easiest option to highlight the duplicate records okay now so we finished the first task how to find duplicate records now we found these are the duplicates okay now there may be a requirement that you want to know how many times duplicated maybe for another uh, this one you want to know how many times is duplicated so the best option is you just i'll explain you number of times is duplicated okay so the easiest option is just type equal count if okay then you select this range like this okay select the entire column then press comma and you select the line number 2 row number 2 in the a column okay and you close the bracket okay now you can see here it's one so this one is only duplicated one time so you can see this is a small notch in the right bottom corner of the c2 the column okay so you just drag it till down okay so you will see that you see whatever one means it is repeated only one time if it is two means this record repeated two times okay so this is the way how you can find duplicate records okay so now we know how many times we know we marked the duplication and also we know how many times it is duplicated okay now what i'll do i'll just duplicate these sheets for your reference okay so i'll right click create a copy okay so i'll just keep it here okay so now again i'll go here so my now my next third task is i want to remove these duplicates i don't want to keep these duplicate records okay so i want to remove it and make it very clean so what i can go do is click this column a then you go to the tab data and there is something called remove duplicates you just press it huh? so it will ask you you want to expand the selection or you want to continue with the current selection okay you just click expand okay then you press on the column a okay don't select the other one just press column a then press okay you see now it says you have five duplicate records has been found and removed now 19 records you see now you have only 19 records left okay also you can see here you see earlier we were showing 2 1 2 and all right now it is showing only one okay so we finish the first part of the our exercise okay so i explain how you can find duplicate records okay that is just go here click this simple one uh, this column and you select conditional formatting highlight cells and duplicate values okay this is the first one secondly i explain how you can find the number of time the items repeated so you can you just go here and you can put a like uh, equation that is equal to count if bracket open then column a comma a2 okay 
as we did already shows the number of times repeated and the third one we also i also explained how you can remove the duplicate record that is you just go to the column a and go to the tab data then click remove duplicates okay so now we finish first part of our exercise okay now let's go to the second part that is we want to compare with the second sheet now for example the the challenge is here in the students data there is no scores for the students only student details are available and here the scores are available okay now i'll remove this column okay i'll delete this one we no need any more okay so i'll just go here i want to have the bring the maths score for these students from here okay so the challenge here is first thing is we don't know how many students record check records are available because only few scores are available there are many students so you see if you check here there are 30 students but you have the scores only for how many 18 students okay 19 students so our first exercise is to check how many scores are available okay so the easiest option as i said you can just take this one just copy just take here you can paste okay these are the pasted record okay now if you want you can highlight with a different color okay now if I put a equation here like exist for example I'll just type exist okay so if you type exist then we will use the same formula okay count if okay then you put this range comma we select this column number 2 okay then you press like this okay now I will just drag this till here okay so see whatever it is showing 2 number 2 means it's already exist number 2 means it is exist already the scores are exist whatever is number 1 the records not exist so this is the one option for you to find the records exist other option as I told you you can also go to column A and you can select conditional formatting highlight duplicate values okay you see so whichever scores available it will highlight you see can here you can compare it you see this one is available this one is available and these are missing you can see here right okay so this is the way how you can find scores available or not available okay now what i'll do is so let me so we pa we finish this part now right so now let's you want to know how many scores not available scores not available in the sense you see wherever you go here so whatever is showing number two means it is available whatever number one is not available so if you want to take a record like which one is not available either you can see this one you see what you can copy from here one by one or you can use the option sorting okay. for example you can go here for the filter just select the only one whichever is one you just select it okay see these scores are not available okay so if you want you can make another sheet and you can type it paste it here see scores not available okay scores not available okay so so we finished this part now so we finished this one we finished this one now the third work third one is we want to if the scores are available then we need to map it to the first screen okay so what happens you know now if you go here i'll just remove these filters okay i'll just put everything here okay then also i don't want this one now okay i'll just remove and before i remove let me okay let me make one thing but whichever scores not available like no i'll keep it as it no problem so i'll just remove them okay so what i'm going to do is if the scores available here i'll just delete this one okay now i'm going to bring the math score from the second sheet for example for this student 2001 this 2001 i want to bring this score here okay so the easiest option is you can use there's something called v lookup okay so i'll just make this one little wider so it's much easy for you to see okay and also i'll make it bigger okay so what you can do is just put a equation called v lookup 
okay then put a bracket then it is asking something look up value what value you want to search you want to search this id number comma then asking table array from where you want to search so i want to search it in this one okay so in this one i want to search in this array the value of that one comma is asking column index okay so now column index means you select this range okay the, this one is column one this is column two so you want to bring the data this score one uh, two okay column two then it's asking approximate match or exact match we want to make exact match so you just select false i'll explain again this one okay you see now it is showing 200101 and this is the score you see the score is coming from here actually okay so if i extend this one till down see so it will bring whichever scores available it will bring okay from here so it's coming coming then i don't know why it is not coming for here so we need to check again okay a12 b20 a1 i think we did something wrong here actually scores we should be let, let's check again okay let's let's delete this and we'll do it again so let's learn again okay so just match i'll make it go is equal to v look up v look up of this value comma in this array okay comma okay the index this is the column one a is column one this is column two so my scores are i want checking this value but i want the result score is in the column two so i need to type column two then it is asking exact or approximate i want exact match so i should type false okay this is how it works now make a mistake false okay so now you see if you drag this one like this see it is showing the scores so wherever is there is not available means the scores are not available okay or if you want to like for example you want to put some error here you can also use something like you know for example i can put like if if error there is some you can like also you can use this function actually this one if error put zero okay so for example if i drag this one down see wherever there is error it will so it will put zero okay so now this is the final score now even though it is now uh, this is working fine but you can see there is n a columns so if you want to remove that then also you can use something called if error then put d2 comma zero so now this is our final score you can copy here and also you can put paste special okay this is the score now if you want you can remove this columns okay also now i'll tell you for example now the score is not available there now for example 202011 if somebody enters the score here and it is says 35 triple one you see the scores will immediately appear here actually so this is the beauty of excel okay i hope you understand this easy tutorial and if you have anything please put comments okay thank you